Picture this. You're strolling through one of the most beautiful farms in the state, admiring and buying art from more than 60 local artists and artisans. Then you're trying your hand as an artist in a medium most of us used when we were kids. That's extravaganza. Here to tell us more are Marilyn Maitland from the Baltimore County Arts Guild and artist Sean James. Welcome to you both. Thank, Thank you. you. It's good to be here. So I'm not sure our, our viewers are understanding when I say ag-stravaganza as opposed to extravaganza. I can understand. Yeah. Well, we call it ag art extravaganza because we're partnering with the Maryland Agricultural Resource Council. And when you mentioned it, it's an absolutely bucolic, wonderful scene where we'll be doing chalk. You're right. It's off Schwann Road where their center is, and it's a fabulous fabulous place. Can we say we'll be doing chalk? What oh, do you mean by that? Yeah, well, we're going to have a whole arts festival that includes a chalk festival and chalk drawing on all this long driveway where everybody can join in and have a lot of fun. In addition, we'll have many, many vendors with their art and their art wares and some food trucks and a lot of good music. So it's a fun day for everyone, but the chalk is almost the best. And Sean has joined with us to help us make a chalk, chalk festival come alive. You are the chalk master, I understand. Oh, I wouldn't go as far as to say I'm the chalk <laughs> master. But I mean, well, well, tell us a little bit about what you do and, and, and chalk art. Well, I'm a, I'm a, um, a wide range artist, so um, I like painting murals. I like doing chalk work. Um, I've done different festivals around, around the country um, and worked with various uh, uh, very professional chalk artists over the years. Um, I find that it's a very it's an ephemeral art that brings the joy that you had when you were a kid. Right. You used to get down on your hands and knees and draw just because it was fun. Yeah. And now you get to take it up to the next level and um, continue the art history of the chalk drawing, which goes back hundreds and hundreds of years. Okay, and you've done, uh, you're a pro at this. I mean, you so, because I would think, you know, you've got hundreds of people at the festival, you've got artists and everything, but you somehow make it all work and it it's very inclusive, not only of great artists and good artists, but people like me who are non-artists. Oh, well, yeah, this yeah. is going to be open to the public. We want everybody to come out and have a good time. Um, whether you're a professional artist, an artist on the side, family, kids, it's going to be fun for everybody. So the chalk art's not done on the cows in the field. Where, how, how, can you just explain a little bit how it works? Well, when you um, approach the center, there's um, some pavement and it kind of goes around. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful drive. It's a yeah, beautiful yeah. driveway. And um, it's an asphalt driveway, which is really good for chalk art, actually. And um, we we'll have spaces already spaced out for everybody there. And when you come and sign up, you'll get a number for your space. You'll get a, um, a couple boxes of chalk. And you'll go to your um, to your spot, and you're encouraged to do a piece of artwork of your choosing that's um, agriculturally themed. Oh, neat. Okay, so I got to ask you then: Are you looking at the weather forecast, going, please, please don't rain? Well, we are, of course, in October. That first week in October, October 10th is traditionally absolutely wonderful. This is our second um, year of doing this. Last year we had a bit of a mist, but you know, people came out and had a grand time, and it didn't spoil the chalk. Did you said sometimes these, the chalk, even with the rain and everything, was it there lasts. four weeks. We had, we had one that lasted almost four weeks with rain and mist and everything. Okay, so, so this is a great family event, I understand. Any age for the chalk art. There's a lot of different, though, art you mentioned. Um, there's going to be artists there selling their, their wares. wares. Absolutely. Last year we had 60 vendors, wow. everything from um, the uh, watercolor to oils to pastels, uh, of course chalk, uh, acrylics in, in the fine arts, as well as some wonderful jewelry and other art interpretations. So it's a wide range of art um, that's available to the public. One of the things that Sean's also going to be doing is linking sometimes student artists with, if you come there and you go, I don't know what I want to do. Oh. Well, he'll have a student artist who can say, wait a minute, we can help you a little bit and get you underway. So there's going to be a, a, a good uh, collaboration that's there to help anyone who might be a little timid about doing right, their own chalk right. art. And I know that you're a great chalk artist, but as you said, you do different uh, you work in different media, correct? Um, and uh, a lot of people will know your work from in the city, from yes. the, some of these large murals. Tell tell me quickly about the one across from M&T Bank Stadium. Um, it was a uh, mural that was painted by Robert Weiland in the early '90s. Um, he started a, uh, uh, a kind of a program, so to speak, to paint murals around the United States and yeah. bring awareness to the plight of blue whales and gray whales. And um, it was dilapidated. It's over time, pollution, you know, degradation of the paint. Um, I was asked to come in and basically repaint the entire mural. So many people who passed by that place, they, you know, they immediately recognized yeah. that wall. Well, we're looking forward to the huge icon in Baltimore County and a great tribute to rural 
to the rural, beautiful countryside and also to the Baltimore County Arts Guild. Thank you both. We'll see you Thanks on October 10th. Thank you. This is terrific. We you appreciate bet. it. So here are some web links for more details on the extravaganza, the Baltimore County Arts Guild, and Art on the Farm. And listen, while you're out at the Ag Center, don't miss two wonderful new sculptures inspired by the farm and farm life. The land and art come together in Cockeysville.